have difficulties in the jungle boat. It's... yeah. <laughs> Lucky, and I've said it before, I'm lucky to have the support of my wife at home. I wouldn't be able to do it without it. Best Soccer Super Mums, Brisbane Raw duo Jesse Rashid and Katrina Gorry, juggling motherhood and the A-League. It is really hard, obviously. Uh, you don't get a straight eight hours of sleep. It's, it's pretty interrupted. Feeding for me is a difficult one, trying to make sure Harper's fed before I head out in the field. To come off the field and have a, a little happy chubby kid uh, on the sideline, it's amazing. And to have all the teammates being her little aunties. You and Katrina feel like super mums a little bit. Do you, do you connect on that? Yeah, yeah, we bond over baby stories all the time. <laughs> yeah, that's nice having another mum in the team. There's a few people in Australia that have done it before and, and a couple overseas that I was um, speaking to uh, along the way in my decision. She was a massive inspiration for me and, and I think it's uh, amazing to see so many athletes now doing it. I make sure I say to him, in away games, you know, it's just two sleeps and I, I come home. He watches on the TV all the time. He screams at the TV. I've got videos of them screaming at the TV, Mama! <laughs> so he knows it's special. How big of a thrill is it when you can look up to the stands and see him there? Yeah, it's a nice feeling. It's a really nice feeling and, yeah, I wouldn't be here without them. I was only talking to Melissa Barbieri the other day and she was saying, you know, how proud she is of, of me to take this step into motherhood and that she kind of paved the way for us to have the things that we do now, the support, so we, we thank those players that have gone before us and, and made this possible. I think it's nice to put a message out there that you can do it all, you know, nothing's holding you back from having a, a sporting career and being a mum if that's what you want to do. I had to put my kids in for extra days of daycare so I could attend training, so either having a creche set up or people coming to training to help look after the kids, as distracting as that would be, or having some sort of subsidy. I think it's an important policy to maybe put in, in for the future, so girls that want to become mums, it gives them more avenue to do this. You're going to a club in Sweden now, the fact that they are more accommodating maybe than some other clubs when it comes to, to mothers. Was that a big factor in the decision? Yeah, it was. For me, that, that's more to me than anything. Uh, I'd rather go to a family club overtaking money, that's for sure. I'm just excited that they get to come and watch and I can wave at them at the stands or they can scream out mama to me. I mean, that would be the ultimate goal, wouldn't it? <laughs> Hold them up with the cup and, yeah, be premiers. <laughs>